Hello everybody and welcome once again to Pneumatic Craft Repressure Eyes for Minecraft 115. Today, as you can see, it's time to do the wither. Get a couple of wither stars. I want to look at making wither skeleton skulls and actually bone mill. <laughs> and if when we get time, which we will have, is we can do build the aerial interface and jet boots tier 4. Because both of those items require nether stars. So let's get started. I've prepared a little area over here. This, this was actually where the first of the oil was. I've put a sentry turret up there because when I was testing this I was getting attacked. So all I've done here is actually build a 3x3 three three area. Really it should be 3x5 but we can get away with a shortcut and save a few blocks. So the, the items that we need are these. So we need some weatherproof glass uh, or blocks. It doesn't really matter that much. Glass is easy because you can see what's going on. Uh, the blocks are for the ground and um, some polished granite just a building block really um one lever three pieces of redstone dust one redstone repeater one redstone torch and one sticky piston and that's all we need for this particular build and it's very easy so what we're doing is we're laying down the base of the um of where we're going to ground the weather so basically it's three by three as you can see really i should be building out here because this is where we're going to be putting the blocks for the, for the glass so let's put those some of those down already to start with and we can see what I'm talking about so the wither is really like this so he's a three by three blocks high mob so we can put these across like this oh actually I haven't think about that I don't I'm actually not saving any bits at all there we are and he's built up from um, Let's put them down actually. Let's build a prototype. I'm going to use soul sand because that's what we need anyway. Oops, wrong block. Oh, and these are really hard to break, but the, <laughs> you don't need a tool and it takes a while. I'm sure. I've got to be careful doing that. Uh, I'll be back in a second because it takes about one a minute to break. As this. you can see, I don't want to put down too many of these incorrectly, so let's try not to do that again. So, soul sand will put down as a, as a, as a sort of block to show us what the T formation and I'm going to use on top of that I'm going to use three um, oops, slime blocks as the heads obviously I don't want to build it until I finish doing this like that so that's the size of the wither um, so now what we're going to do is we're just going to finish this off and put some more blocks down uh, and cover the whole area in blocks like this it doesn't take too long and <clears throat> really this is I'm just trying to think how, how I can explain this. Is there really a 3x3x5 three by three by, um, block? And I'm going to leave the middle block here empty because that's what we're going to put. The, we're going to be able to put the heads on from a particular position. And that's what I'm going to be doing for that one. But the other two ones here are going to be filled in like this. And then we just need to fill it in down the bottom here. Uh, what I normally do is I put, because I've got jump boost on these boots, I'm going to put down a block that is here on that. And we can jump down up. and we can easily jump up onto this one i think unless i've got it too high which i might tell as it happens <laughs> um never mind we'll fix that in a second so again we can fill this in now completely yes i'm just having to think what i'm doing right here and the blocks at the bottom here i need this space so i'm going to be grinding from so i'm going to be sitting here grinding them like this and basically that's it I'm going to have to break this piece up back and we'll second. put it here so we can get up to the top. Oops, I missed. Try again. I've actually left out a block here as well. I should have filled this one in as well. Like that. So all we now need to do is put down a block here. And what we're going to use is we're going to use a sticky piston to push this block into place. So let's get the sticky piston out here. And then press shift and I'm going to press shift on there so it's in that direction but it doesn't matter if I've messed that up and got this because the, the pneumatic raft wrench will allow you to turn it anyway in any direction as it happens you can turn it actually I think you can turn it vertically as well so that's that now what happens with this is we basically put down a lever here like this and it pushes it out and covers that hole we put the lever back again it takes it away again like that so now I'm going to build um, I probably need to have a quick sleep and I'll be back in a second. So we're going to build a fail-safe version of this because if this gets knocked off like that, um, the piston opens up, doesn't it? Let's put that back again. I mean, it's up like that. It gets knocked off. Then the piston opens up again, which is not what we want. We want it to be always closed if something gets blown off. The, pi the piston itself may well get blown off. I wonder if I can fix that. 
I have an idea. What I'm going to do is put a block on top of the piston like this. And then try that again. See if that actually it still works. Yes, it does fine. I'm just hoping that this will keep it into place. Might not do. We'll see. Oops, drop that. Let's just drop my magnet on and pick it up again. Turn off the magnet. I don't want to pick up too much stuff at the moment. So now, I'm going to build out here a little bit. And for that, I'm going to use the polished granite. Um, I'm just going to build it out two blocks and around the side. Now, these blocks are actually not affected by the explosion from the wither skeleton, uh, from the wither when, he's, when he forms. In other words, it blows up when he forms like this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to push into this a redstone repeater here. Like that. And I'm going to just bring a few bits of redstone across like this too. In fact, I'm going to put two pieces of redstone down here like this. So that they link into that. And here I'm going to put a redstone torch. So I'm going to use another block of um, polished granite here. Put onto it a lever, uh, um, a redstone torch on this side. And what that'll do is it will automatically fail. So it basically turns it on. So it's got no signal here. So now we can put down the last piece of. I'm going to put it down here, yes. Like that. I'm going to put another piece of redstone onto this one. And then I'm going to put the, the lever here. So when the lever is off, gets blown off, is actually off this thing will be closed so that's the fail safe so now we put it on it then opens up so it's the reverse of what you'd normally expect and all it is is basically this thing here showing could do this differently of course i could use the um, redstone modules which would probably be a good idea well in fact i'm ready so let's just turn on the magnet again and then break these three blocks i just hold i just hold the um i'm just holding up the alt button to oops sorry to pick up all at once. Now I need to go and get the, the the heads to finish this off. Now there's there's two ways of making heads. Obviously you can get heads from grinding withers, which is what I've been doing. Here I've got two and I'm actually short of one. Now there is a recipe for these. So let's have a look at the recipe for those. There's two recipes. We can either get them from um, drops from wither skeletons. <laughs> um, from the wither actually. This is a wither withering soil you get from the wither or you can do it this way from wither skeleton essence which i've got and the blank skull the blank skull the recipe for this one is uh one bone block which is which is nine pieces of bone meal um like that now if you don't have enough bone if you don't have enough bones and to be honest with you at this stage of the game the more you're more than likely to have enough bones you can make it by just putting some um seeds into a composter like this i'm just think, hoping that these will actually drop down and give me a new set when didn't do it last time actually didn't auto refill no it hasn't auto refilled i've upgraded the version of the um, inventory tweaks but it's and i don't think it's working very well <laughs> like this so let's just make sure we've got all of those bits in here So as you can see, we can get bone meal this way, no big deal. But I'm not going to do it that way. Actually, we just got, oh, maybe I need to do it from another couple. We'll do it from bones. I, I think I've got bones in here. Or I should have. Oh, I've got bone meal already. So we need three more of these. And some wither skeleton essence. So we can craft this up. So now basically it's just a bone block, which is nine of those. Would be, would be equivalent to three bones, by the way. And some wither skeleton essence around it like this. We'll make a um, wrong one, sorry, wrong recipe. And we need to put the solium, this one, soul dust on top of that. Now, this, we also need some half of this as well to make the next. Oh, we need two withers, don't we? I've got one set, that's fine, yeah. <clears throat> so we need to basically turn this into, um, I'm not sure what you call that actually. This is just soul dust. Soul dust is made from soul, oh, blank skulls, that's right. And then we can just put this around the blank skull. Try again. So then we get our sixth with a skeleton skull. We actually probably need a lot more than that. But for the time being, that will be fine. So now I'm going to just simply put these up and go up here again. And put these down on here like this. So I always do one here 
Uh, always me the middle one to the last. I think I might be up on something. Yes, I am because I couldn't reach it. Two, three. Press the button. Jump off. We have a bit of time to jump off. We come back down here, and we were reasonably safe. It does does blow up and just hurts a little bit, but nothing particularly bad. Boink like that. And you'll notice that the um, the piston did get blown off. So now I can simply attack the guy. Like this. So as you can see, it's, it's perfectly safe. These things are being thrown around, but they're not actually hurting us at all. So we just keep hitting him with it until he goes. So there we are. So we should have our first weather skeleton. Another uh, no, stuff, fantastic. But the piston did get blown off, so we have to go and put the piston back in again. And I'm going to do actually before I do that, let's go down here and put down to rebuild this because it's all closed up. But we need um, some salt sand. So let's put the salt sand down. We can put down this block down here. That's all we need to do. We can't reach the bottom from the, f the top, but we can reach this one after we've done that. So as I said, it's fail safe, and this is now. We need to need to put the piston down here, like that, and then turn this on, and then it takes it off, so we can continue building the next wither skeleton. So what you do here is with the salt, with the salt sand, you come in and you can either click it on top. You can put one on top like this. Uh, I should be able to put one on top, and then you put it on the sides here, and you can reach the two sides. Um, and just move around a bit here. No, oops, that's too low down. So I'm, I'm going to just alt, pick those all up again. So I'll try again. I'll put it down here. It doesn't matter which order I do it in as it happens. Uh, I think that's this one. Yes, good. So if I mess it up like that, just come back, put the bottom bit down here like this, and that's the, there. So you can fill it in easily enough. So let me just do the heads again. Over here, aren't we? One. I'm on the. Get, I'm standing on something again. Two, three. Close the trap, and off we go. This time I'll use the sword to see if it's more effective than the um, than the tapaxel. Oh. Well, that was significantly faster, wasn't it? So, <laughs> so there we have it. We've now got two with us. With us, another stars, fantastic. Let's go and put the. Let's, oh, I also got to drop a wither skull. Now this actually does have a use more than the other one that we had. So let's have a look at the uses of this. We can use this to make a star crux. And this is the one that will, if you use, I don't think you can see this one, but this is the one you need underneath the seed. Um, but we've, we need to make six with the stars before we can get to that point. So that's not much use at the moment. We'll have to wait a bit. But we're going to use our stars to start with. And basically I need to wait for the heads to come through, which is really just waiting for the seeds to to grow again i use quite a lot of the uh with the star essence as you can see this has got up to seven here now and i'm picking up bits and i don't want to get rid of this so that means we've got the magnet on let's just start, turn off the magnet now next thing we've completed all of these steps the aerial interface this is an awesome piece of piece of equipment really good actually let's just get the manual out and have a, and have a look at it so the aerial interface is under machines. So uh, machines, here we go. And if I've already looked at it, it'll be on the second page. Aerial interface here like this. So this is telling you about it. And what you need to do is what I would like to do. You can auto feed, you can deal with experience, you can also deal with items. But the one I'm interested in at the moment is the auto charging. So with the charging module, on the interface it allows you to charge up your armor so at the moment we're not 
we're not 10 10 10 10 we're 10 9.8 9.8 9.9 so we're going to do this first of all and the recipe for this is fairly straightforward i think in fact it's actually in the book if you didn't know but we don't need it because we've got jei so let's have a look at this one so we need um aerial interface this one so we need one at the start one omnidirectional hopper one advanced pipe two air two ender poles which have got on four pressure chambers and you really need to build more than one of these but for the time being we've got enough so we need four of those guys we needed um one aerial advanced pressure tube which we've got already we needed an omnidirectional hopper and i think i built one of those already yes this is actually not sorting for some reason maybe that's because i upgraded the thing and i think that's it so let's go and let's see if we can craft this into place now oh ender pulse i forgot the ender pulse yes i've got five which isn't really many but it's enough enough to do this for the time being so let's try that again so now we can build the aerial interface but what you need is also you need a charging module can't type and that's this thing it's actually this thing here so we need four charging stations and one pipe no big deal i can actually make these up now i think i can just shift click them in now because i've got already prepared the the bricks 12 bricks and 12 uh, reinforced slabs that'll give us four of those so then we should be able to make this thing up here like that and we also need interdirectional convenience that's probably from the aerial interface what it doesn't tell you is you actually need an advanced pcb it doesn't work without it so i think i've got everything i need it's night time i'll have a quick sleep and i'll be back in a second so i'm going to put it down over here uh, where this pressure where this pressure chair um basically this recharging station is here i'm going to put it all down here and it's very simple what we have to do first of all is put down um, a piece of pipe and we have to go down one block here because this is a piece of pipe in this one here like this and i need to block it off somehow or other i think otherwise it's going to lose all the air pressure how am i going to do that because as soon as I put this piece of pipe it's going to link in here and lo lose the pressure <laughs> I know how to do it we can do it we can go down one extra block here like this and put the pipe down here like this Is that one yes oh yeah and then we right click it like that <laughs> right click this one that's exactly what I didn't want to do but never mind you can right click this face here I think let's get rid of this piece of gravel keep jumping up on things so if I right click this it puts a block on that one there so when then I'm, when I can put this piece of pressure tubing down here like that it's then not going to leak because it's going to connect it's connecting through here and it's going into that so here we can now put the the charging module onto this like that and then on top of that you can then put the aerial interface now the aerial interface will automatically get link into this pressure tubing here I went down too far and it will also get the, the charging module because a bit like actually i think they're not too bad as it happens so let's put the aerial interface down here like this try and put it on that not i have to probably shift click it into place so now we don't need this piece of pipe down here so let's just simply remove this one like that so you'll find that this is already charged up here see it says 14.82 bar and maximum pressure is 20 bar so it's connected in but what you do need to do and the book doesn't tell you this is you need to do two things one it does tell you about you need to watch for the sides so the sides here are interfacing items okay this says we need a dispenser upgrade well we you need two aerial interfaces to do this power with well, no power in this pack at all so uh, we unless we make our own but we have no machines that use power so there's no point but you could simply connect power to it and then it will power up your 
this and it will also give you power straight into whatever tools you've got in your armor side configuration this is important so here you'll see i've got bottom is the armor slot and top it's actually part of the reason why i did this but it just happened to be by chance in this particular case so what i'm going to do now is put this onto here because it, it doesn't work without it you see it's all connected up and you'll see that my armor slot here uh chest plate is not is not being charged i probably stood on the on the other thing so just right click it like this and you'll see that the pressure is now changing in here and the you'll find that my armor chest plate is now charged up fantastic so let's put these bits of dirt down here back again now we've got one spare slot so we don't really care about it so let's put can I put it there yes i can good stand back like that so that's the aerial interface fantastic so as you can see my armor is now fully charged and when i use the jetpack so, so i think i put those alt and h um no i haven't i can't remember what key i've used for the jetpacks because i'm using it <laughs> i'm using a copy i should actually work in fact let's have a look jet boots enable jet boots oh yes that's right it's uh, i moved it to said sorry so it's alt z and it enables the jet boots. So we can just simply go straight up like this. Or we can go down. And you'll see that the the amount of air it's using is zero. It's not taking any air out of that because this will be on. We should see this being on some stage, hopefully. No, it's not yet, because it's not got it's still got plenty of pressure in there. Like that. And then we can turn off the jet boot boots. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to upgrade. If we look at the use of the nether stars, obviously it's beacons from vanilla. We can upgrade this, and for that we need some potions of slow falling four minutes. The recipe for those is redstone version of potion of slow falling for one and a half minutes, which is a phantom membrane. So we need three phantom membranes: one for the potions, and two for the other bit. I've got the potions nearly prepared. I need to go and put this into here. So this, this should be just mundane potion now. I think awkward potion. That's right. Yeah. So put one of those in there like that, and get some redstone because I need some redstone to make it four minutes. By the time I get down there, it should just be about finished. This will be potion of slow falling. Like that and then this will make it this will be one and a half minutes and this will make it four minutes so what else do we need uses of this one we need the jet boots we've already got plus two vortex cannons that's no big deal uh, and another star everything we've basically got everything we need so as soon as this is finished we need two of these we'll take all three out of course like that and try and walk up the stairs without walking into things I've got vortex cannons already in here like this. Let's use these two. Uh, only this advantage with these is it won't auto craft for you. Um, but we should be able to remember the recipe. We also need to take out the existing jet boots. Our tier three ones. I can leave the boots in there for the time being. It's not going to hurt. Well, we'll just do this. So now, the recipe for the. Let's have a look at the uses of this one. You can't shift click it in because of these two, but we can remember the recipe. I think so that's pretty straightforward. Have one of those, one of those, one of these, one boots in the middle, two vortex cannons, and what was at the bottom? Two potions of slow falling, like this, wasn't it? So we get our jet boots tier four upgrade, and we can simply put that straight into the into the boots. Take it out again. Put the boots back on. now let's turn the boots on I see how and you see we're already flying a lot faster than we, we did before and um, if I press control does it make any difference no and you'll also notice that the air pressure is not going down <laughs> you'll you may also notice I've been clearing out another area here uh, I'm not sure quite why I was doing that but I did it <laughs> to make sure things are a bit uh, safer as it happens. I'm planning to do some more bits. 
and building and I was like picking up items there or not to turn off the jetpacks boots I mean no, I didn't pick up anything well that's it for this episode next time I'm probably going to start doing drones uh, programmable drones uh, because this particular furnace is going to need a reasonably large amount of fuel to keep it going now at the moment I'm taking the fuel from a logistics drone just behind us but it would be good fun to actually program this a drone to take the um, required materials out make some charcoal and put it into the furnace directly so that's hopefully the next goal anyway until then I wish you all the best bye for now